one thing that I'm curious about is uh, the CA, the Chartered Accountant cert Certifications. Can you tell us a bit more uh, what it is, how, how it is uh, structured and why people in Big Four look at the CA rather than other uh, certifications, but more financial like the CFA or the FRM? Yeah, so there's a couple of chartered accountancy qualifications in the UK, but I'll focus on the main one, which is um, the, it's called the ACA. Okay. Um, you know, like I think as I said before, you've got to have three years of relevant work experience. So that's your kind of graduate scheme. And there's around 15 exams. Um, it keeps changing every year, but it's around 15 or so. Um, I know particularly in audit and kind of insolvency and some of the more accounting related fields, you do the chartered accountancy, you do the ACA, but some of the deals of corporate finance, they're actually starting to do the CFA a bit more and more now. Um, I think historically it's always been, you know, people become chartered accountants, whereas now they're starting to realize there's kind of wider qualifications out there and they're starting to kind of open it up a bit more. So it, it will really depend on what department you're joining. If you're joining a corporate finance department that's involved heavily in valuations and mergers and acquisitions, you may be doing the CFA route. Okay. Whereas if you're an audit, you know, you need to be, you need to be a chartered accountant. Okay. 